Well, we're here, here today to announce the first private citizen passenger in the history of space flight. This passenger would be one of America's finest, a teacher. The teacher who will be going into space, Krista McAuliffe. Where is, is that you? <laughs> Barbara Morgan was chosen as Krista McAuliffe's backup in 1986. She went on to fly on STS-118 in October of 2007, and I got a chance to attend that launch. As a teacher, seeing another teacher launch into space literally brought tears to my eyes, and feeling the power of the space shuttle from over two miles away was an experience I will never forget. After the Challenger tragedy, NASA replaced teachers in space with educator astronauts. Instead of recruiting private citizens to fly, they trained mission specialists that had education backgrounds to be astronauts. In 2004, NASA selected Ricky Arnold, Dottie Metcalf Lindenberger, and Joe Acaba. I arrived at NASA with people who had spent their entire life preparing for this, test pilots and aerospace engineers. It was really intimidating, and I had to learn everything new. I didn't even understand the vocabulary. When I got to fly on the space shuttle, I did some of the hardest training of my life. I would go in on my weekends and practice in the simulator. I even built a cardboard simulator at home so that I could think about where all those switches were and where I needed to focus at different points in flight. There's no more important profession than teaching. I mean, it's the most important uh, job out there. It's just something that kind of called me, I was drawn to it, and once I started, I knew that was the job that I really wanted to have and I was meant to have. Education continues to be an important aspect of human spaceflight. And what was really uh, important for me that we were able to accomplish, we were able to finish some of the, the lessons that were gonna be delivered by the crew of Challenger. So to, to have the opportunity to complete a small part of that magnificent mission was really a really meaningful part of, of the year of education on station. If you talk to any kid, they love space and they love exploring. That's what they do every day. So it's a very kind of an easy topic to talk to kids about, but it's an important one that we can use to help inspire them to kind of follow their dream, whatever it may be. To me, education is very important because we're curious people. My education is ongoing. Every day I learn something. The generation that we're getting ready to hand off stewardship to this planet, I, I just see a refreshing commitment to service, cooperation, and understanding, and uh, that really inspires me greatly. Do you have a favorite teacher? Do you think they could be the next educator astronaut? Tell us about them down in the comments section. If you like this video, be sure to follow STEM and 30 on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.